Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So today we are doing our top 2023 products that we are bringing into 2024. I'll just set you up right here. I do have quite a lot of favorites. So this is just some, I haven't even got all of them up. This is just some of my everyday makeup, skincare, ones that I love and will continue to use for 2024. Now, I'm doing basically a full uh, makeup routine. Like I love my everyday makeup. This this is it. It is it is very subtle but very like natural looking. This is what I perfected at the end of 2023, and I will be using every single product that I've talked about um, in this video. Definitely for the oncoming weeks. Might change a little bit coming into spring, but if you want to see how I created this makeup and all my favorite products, including hair products as well, we have some hair products, then keep watching. Welcome to a very chaotic uh, morning here. I just thought I'd show you the things I'm bringing in from 2023 to 2024, even in my hair routine. I am just out of the shower. I just want to show you first, the first thing I am bringing into 2024 from 2023 that I absolutely love and I'm very, very particular about hair stuff, but it's the Wee Way um, Detox Shampoo. Now I have the one for fine hair. It's not great. Sorry for the background noise. <laughs> The detox shampoo this one is absolutely amazing so it'll get rid of like all the build up in your hair and it definitely keeps my hair a lot more cleaner now you only use it once a week but i'm showing you it today because out of all my shampoos this is my absolute favorite and the one i'm going to use again this year for definitely now i want to start using recently as well is the queen for a day thickening spray from beta tiji i haven't actually used this in years so like I used to use it years ago and I started using it again and yeah, I quite like it. It's a bedhead small top as well. So I find I have quite fine hair and whenever I put this stuff in, it really does thicken it up and gives me a little bit of oomph for the day. Now it used to obviously do that years ago, but I forgot how good it was. I had been using the color Wow, but I ran out of it and then I decided I would try something new. So, I will probably go back to Color Wow at one stage, but I'm kind of liking for the meantime, I'm bringing these into 2024 as well. Just quickly blow off, um, blow dry the hair, and then you can see how it kind of lifts it and gives it a great amount of volume. So we just give the hair a quick blow dry, so we're not over applying heat. After it gets like 90% dry, that's whenever I go in with my brush and then decide to blow dry it into shape. And then it just means that we're not like over drying the hair in one particular area. So yeah, this is like way more volume than I would ever get normally. So without these products, my hair would be so fine and limp. So it gives a lot of oomph to the hair. So this is currently what we woke up to this morning. Try and get out in that in a little bit. Just did a quick little tidy like superficial tidy um, and the last 20 minutes so just to show you as well that it hasn't dropped that much and we still have a little bit of volume there but what I usually do whenever I'm doing my makeup is I grab a little claw clip like this and then I'll just grab this front section just roughly grab this front section keeps my hair out of the way but I also find if I put it in like so that will actually keep the volume up there. So whenever I take it out, that I'll still have this sort of oomph to my hair. So skin, let's, let's get this sorted. Okay, something I used to use years ago and I only recently discovered it again. So it's the Image Vital C. I remember I always used this and loved it. So I've been trying it a lot recently. I do use it every day. And it's going from my 2023 to my 2024 collection for the skincare. So yeah, I just find that it brightens up my skin a little and I just feel a bit more refreshed. So I've really, really been loving this one. So it's hydrating, anti-aging serum. I love a little bit of anti-aging now that I'm 34, coming on 35. So it helps brighten the skin and it also helps with dullness and fatigue. Trust me, I'd be very tired running around after these girls every day. And they're also off school today because there is a strike in their school. So I think it was like the biggest strike of the century. Um, so they are off school. It's snowing today. Can't really do anything. So I just thought I'd just go through what I use on my face. Okay, we use a lot of serums in the morning. My Claudalie Fino Drops and then another image one and it's an intense brightening cream. A stable form of vitamin C to help reduce the appearance of dark spots. So I just put on a tiny bit. Yeah, so I only use a tiny bit of that one. And again, it just feels very luxurious on my skin. So I did think while I was doing this um, products, I 
I'm bringing from 23 to 24. I just do my uh, makeup, my daily makeup routine because do you know what? That is literally everything that I was using in 2023 that I will definitely be using in 2024. It's like my perfect everyday makeup now. Fino drop. Again, this is a radiance serum. Probably don't need that many serums, but um, this you're supposed to apply morning and night to your face. I think it's supposed to help again with correction, um, color correction and help with the anti-aging brightening the skin. At least we know first thing in the morning my skin is well hydrated. Well hydrated, well looked after and a lot of serums used. Sometimes I won't use the Image Skincare Illum Illuma Intense Brightening Serum. Sometimes I'll just do the Phyto C but I always use the Claudely Phenol Perfect Drops every morning um, before my makeup. I just feel as well like instead of using a primer I would use this and I feel like the serums kind of act as a sticky base for the primer for your makeup. Sometimes as well depending on how my skin feels I'll go in with a um, moisturizer and the moisturizer that I'm bringing in from 2023 to 2024 love this moisturizer so much it's a sculpted by amy um cloud cream but there's a few reasons why i loved it i did love it because it is a refillable pot so less wastage you only have to buy this little refill pot and it's such a beautiful um cream it is a thick cream but it's beautiful on the skin i'm not really going to put much on today because i'm going to use a skin tint so the skin tint that i use i think is a, a, enough moisture in it that I don't actually need my moisturizing cream. If I don't use this one during the day I always use it at night time and it's just a lovely feel to the skin so I just like products that feel really good on my skin and obviously I, I don't have much breakouts with any of these products so that's another reason why I've brought them in from 23 to 24. Another holy grail, one that I didn't know if I would like that much but I absolutely love it. It's um, skin tint obviously as I've gotten older I prefer less makeup, so more like your skin, but better. So this is the Feel Hourglass Skin Tint. Um, I think I got this in the color seven. Can't really remember, either seven or nine. Just apply a little bit of this and I just top it up as I need it. So for this um, skin tint, I just put on a light layer to start off with. And if I find that I want more coverage for the day, I will put on more. So I'm just using a damp beauty blender to just bounce that product all the way in. As you can see, it is the lightest layer. Now this is an expensive product, but I just love the way it sits on my skin. So I've just put an extra layer on this side of my face so you can see. And that's probably gonna be enough for me. So I put like maybe two layers on sometimes. This is great for like obviously no makeup days. You want a little bit of color, especially if you're wearing tan like me, a little bit of color. Um, maybe need to do a school run. It's great for that. It's a very, very light layer. And then this is just a little extra nip of coverage. And I do find as well, whenever I put powder on top and my concealer and uh, contour, that all comes together really nicely. And it's just those days that you don't want like a real heavy trial of makeup on that you kind of want to really look very refreshed. And like you just woke up like that but a little bit better. If you notice I kind of do um, the areas of my face that I need skin tint on. I leave the eyes and I don't focus too much on the outer part of my face because that's where the contour is going to go and that is where the concealer is going to go. So I don't waste products on the areas that I don't need to. Um, another one that I obviously loved last year and I actually used to detest, detest this um, foundation so much but it's the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk. And I got this one in shade 6.5 but I think the reason I didn't like it in the past was because I loved a heavier foundation then. Why? I don't know. I look back and I think who are you? Who are you? Because it doesn't feel like me. So the Luminous Silk isn't like a heavy foundation but it is buildable but it's definitely um, a lot thicker than the Hourglass. The Hourglass is very, very much a skin tint, so you're only going to get a very light layer. And then the Hourglass, sorry, not the Hourglass, the Luminous Silk Giorgio Armani Foundation just gives you a light layer of foundation and probably as heavy as I would want to go to these days. So I don't know how I ever managed all my years to go through a real heavy, thick, thick makeup that I used to, like matte. Yeah, I don't know how I did my makeup years ago. I don't understand who that girl was. <laughs> kind of find as, I, as I've gotten older, I would rather invest in higher end quality products than the drugstore. And that's just a personal reason. I don't use or wear a lot of makeup. So whenever I do buy them and use them, I want to invest in some really nice, um, more higher end, uh, 
products. So the reason I didn't love this years ago was because not only um, was it too minimal, minimal makeup product, but I, I think I had the wrong shade. So if you have the wrong shade, it's completely going to throw you off. And 6.5 is the one that I wear whenever I have... Um, my darkest tan i would say okay so far i haven't found like the most perfect concealer but i think this comes really close so it's the kosas concealer i don't know if i have the right shade but it works for the meantime and i've got it in 03w so like three warm i think one i used before and i detest and like i don't know why i ever thought i liked it at one stage it's the it cosmetics bye bye dark spots it didn't have any coverage at all it was more or less like a serum on your face um more or less like a skin tint i think for a concealer but i like a concealer with a little bit of a thicker consistency then it's going to uh hide dark spots and cover the eye bags and then again i'll just give myself a little bit of highlight with that concealer okay then we have our two favorite bronzers so the pearl beauty is a nice warm tone so it's nice just to like warm up the face um it'll be great for summer and i would just put on a little bit on the forehead and around my jaw jawbone no not jawbone what is this this is what gives me definition in my cheeks what is that bone this is this is the jawbone um this is in the color a light 002 yeah love 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 this and then i just use a brush to like buff that in and it buffs in really nicely it's just such a nice soft golden shade i prefer creams over uh powders and the powder that i used to love was mac give me sun and i kind of feel like this is just that shade but a little bit nicer after that i go in with my curvy contour by clinique but you will get to see how much i love this <laughs> that's all i have left that is literally all i have left of this little stick that's it turned up to its full capacity i need to buy a new one and i just put it on the high points of my cheeks and then i'll just use a beauty blender to just blend that out upwards sometimes i'll kind of use it on my forehead too but i think the forehead is looking fine so we will not mess with it anymore i don't yet have an eyeshadow product or anything that i'm obviously obsessed with i have this little quad that i've had for years and an eyeshadow called tiki hut made by makeup geek i've had this for years still my favorite eyeshadow for um, my crease but unfortunately that brand has shut down has closed its doors i won't be able to get this eyeshadow again so i need to try and find somewhere that does <laughs> this eyeshadow this exact color which is very 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 hard to find but it's the most beautiful bronzy color like it's i don't know how to describe that it's like a bronzy but not too orange but not too red it's just it's the perfect eyeshadow crease color and i absolutely love it oh wait i was lying i have one favorite eyeshadow product which is the laura mercy caviar stick this one's in the shade vanilla kiss and i just use it as a little eyelid um just a simple plain matte natural color for the eyelid okay moving on to mascaras we have two i have the clinique and the thrill seekers i use them a lot i use them every day and i use them together because they give the most loveliest long full looking lash the only problem i have with the clinique is if i don't seal it with the rimmel thrill seeker the clinique will actually transfer onto the bottom so that's obviously annoying and i would give it a 10 out of 10 stars apart from the transfer because it does lengthen my lashes so much like if i don't use this in the step of my mascara my mas my lashes just don't look that long really gives them full full length like as long as they could possibly be and if i just use the thrill seeker alone um it does give them fullness but it doesn't give them the same lift and length as what i find this clinic um high impact high fi full volume mascara does it's that good it could possibly go from 2024 into 2025 as well okay so that's the length that we're looking at and if anybody had seen me before my lash journey this time last year they were super short so this is due to taking js health vitamins um the hair and energy ones but also the mascara like i said if i don't see this with my thrill seeker rimmel thrill seeker mascara it will transfer so 
I go in with a second coating just with this one and it will just make sure that that doesn't transfer on me and it also gives a little bit more volume recipe for the perfect like do you see the difference recipe for the perfect perfect lashes I just feel so much more girly whenever my lashes are at their full potential I don't skip on this it's not a product I'm dying to take into 2024 but um it does the job it's my Rimmel eye pencil brush or brow pencil brush just in case anyone is wondering and it's in the shade in the shade hazel but i just do like a really light brow i don't like mine really heavy and i just do like a quick little underline like this light handed and then a little flick of like where i'm sparse like where the brow hairs are sparse i just kind of like fill it in but like lightly i don't go over the top not one of these dedicated people on my brows they're they're just brows and i just do the best of <laughs> what I have. You know, I don't have the best brows. So this does the job. Okay, blushes, I kind of have a few, but the one that I was using lately that I love, and I love this combination, by the way, I don't do a one blush for the day. I always mix. I always find whenever you mix, you get a little bit of depth. So Pearl Beauty, obviously, I definitely have to have this in my um, top products for 2023 to bring into 2024. And this is in the color Summer Spice. So I only recently started using it, but I absolutely love it. And I put it kind of on the high points of the cheek here because it's kind of like, I do like a blend, like a little ombre effect with it. And again, it's another Clinique favorite. So this is, I love this color. This is uh, Amped Up Apple, circular kind of dot. And that's kind of more for the apples of the cheek. And then I just blend this out with a brush. And you'll see that it gives that sort of ombre effect and gradient. And I feel like it just means that the darker color kind of um, blends in nicely with your contour. So you get this lovely little pinky tinge at the front at the start. And it blends into like the nice warm bronzy colors that you've got in your contour. That's my favorite kind of blush combo at the moment. And then again, I just feel like um, maybe become a brand ambassador for Clinique. But it's the Clinique chubby stick. It's in the color Hefty Highlight. And it just gives the most natural little highlight. Oh, I've got mascara all over my hand. But again, this, yes, is definitely my 2024, bringing in 2024 highlight. Because I don't love um, a highlight that screams at you, but I love one that's very subtle. And this just gives a lovely little highlight that's not daunting and not in your face. The makeup will not look complete until we get our lips done. So my little lip combo and um, this... <laughs> This I've probably been using the last six months and absolutely love, so it definitely has to come into 2024. Now, I um, used it years ago again. It's another product that I loved years ago, kind of fell out of love with it, and then it's come back again into my life. Uh, it is the MAC Lip Liner in the color Strip Down. It's like a nudie, nudie pinky brown. But let's just thin me up so you can see the color of it, but it's such a beautiful color, and I feel like it goes with a lot of different skin tones. This is my favorite lip liner that I use with nearly every lipstick that I love. I always find, because it's kind of a more browny uh, lip liner, I always balance it, balance it out sorry, with a little bit of pink. This is kind of... To be honest, this is more, more of my winter kind of lip at the moment. So this lip color will change in the next couple of months. And it's um, the Giorgio Romani Lip Power Matte. And all I can see here is it's in the color 115. If I can link it below, I will. I only put a little smidgen on and then I blend it out. So that I get like a nice kind of winter lip. When I write the winter lip, I mean like a very natural winter lip. Like a lip that you've just been outside in the cold. Your lips go red and this is kind of the natural color that you would get from that. And then let's take the claw clip out. So you see what I mean? It gives a lot of bounce. So it just keeps that bounce and it just means while you're doing your makeup, your hair's not flattening on you. So instead you're keeping that little bit of volume in it. And I need to go style it now as well. Still trying to figure out for 2024 how to style the hair best for me. I don't want it overly wavy, but I don't really like my hair curved in and straight at the moment. Just, I just don't know what way I want to style it. I'm just like twisting it around once and then letting it go. This could turn out absolutely hideous. Maybe I need to just cut shorter. That could be the other thing I might need to cut shorter. I'm gonna go with a bit of bedroom hair. I'm gonna spread it over, and spread it over. And then spread it in probably. I might just try and 
take these curls out with my hands. I don't want them setting too much. I think I don't mind this. I think I actually might have found myself a hairstyle I like with the short hair. But this is my everyday makeup for 2024. Um, let's show you it in a different light. That is the makeup, like very subtle, everyday every day kind of makeup. This is the makeup that I've brought from 2023 to 2024 and that's all my top products that I love from last year and I'm still loving so far, so far this year, but like obviously come back in spring and we'll probably have some more products and I'll link everything that I can down below. Thank you so much for watching and tuning in. I'm gonna get probably, out of, like this is what I wore to lounge about in, but if we're gonna go outside in the snow, I need to change. So I will need to flare myself up, get a nice comfy fur jacket on and yeah, I'll see you later in the next one guys. Bye!